Hey folks, uh, Kyle Keo here, and I apologize in advance for my voice. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but i um, uh, hoping this will pass in a few days. I did go in and train today. I, I uh, did my third day of Small Love Junior, my Friday session. So, um, eight sets for four repetitions with 245 pounds, all paused, and I really tried to focus on uh, on making these as strict of pauses as, uh, as I've done in a while, so tried to lengthen the um the individual pauses in the last set like I've done uh, throughout this week is uh, going to feature two second pauses and I have Janice counting off for me um uh, anyway I uh, I went in I did a uh, small love junior and then on top of that I did my normal Friday session which is to do uh, banded rack pulls which you're not gonna see here um, barbell hip thrusts and then uh, uh, which you will see here, and then uh, two sets of um, of kneeling squats with uh, with bands set up, and um, <coughs> oops, sorry about that. And uh, you know, I, obviously, I'm I'm not feeling fantastic, but um, but I was able to get all these sets, get them all pretty easily, and still control the weight. And uh, you know, I just want to. I have um, about a minute or so left, and uh, I just want to take or a couple minutes left, and I just want to take. Um, a little bit of time to uh, to talk about how I determine whether or not I'm going to train based on how I'm feeling. Obviously, I'm not 100% right now, but um, but I've learned from past experience to uh, to try and get in the gym um, as often as possible, even when I'm not feeling 100%. And uh, I'm definitely one of those types that subscribes to the uh, when you slow down, you die mentality, um, especially when it comes to uh, training through illness, training through injury. I try to... Uh, I try to find ways to work around whatever I'm dealing with at that moment, and um, you know, I uh, I had a, a, actually an experience uh, a few years ago, a couple years ago at least, where I um, I caught pneumonia. I was going to do a USAPL nationals, and um, I caught pneumonia over over winter time, and uh, uh, actually had a, a fairly severe bout of it. I missed a few weeks of training. I got back. I couldn't really do much in training, so I just figured, what the hell? I'll take time off until I feel better. And that's what I did, and I, I lost a substantial amount of strength when I did come back. I lost about 20% on all my rep maxes after just not training for a few weeks, uh, three, four weeks or so. And uh, ever since then, whenever I've, I've caught something and come down, I've, uh, I've tried to train through it. Over the summer, I was diagnosed with mono, and uh, so uh, leading up to my 1328 total, I, I trained through mono, and uh, my response to that was just to simply train more often, to try and train every single day, and... Uh, keep my frequency up as much as possible, lower the intensity when I really feel I felt I needed it, but um, but to just try and keep my work capacity up and uh, continue to train hard and train heavy. Um, you know, there are two opposing schools of thought on uh, how hard you should train. You know, there's one school of thought that says CNS be damned, train through everything, train um, with unbridled intensity, and then there's uh, another scientific approach that says that um, you know you should train optimally. You shouldn't necessarily train hard in a sort of Neanderthal manner. And um, I believe that the truth is, as it is with most things in life, um, uh, somewhere in the middle of these two. So um, when I'm wondering about whether or not I should train, I ask myself, uh, "What do you think you can do?" And I listen to my response, um, uh, the response my body gives me, and then I do just a little bit more than that. That's the best I can advice I can give on the subject. I hope it helps you.